hello and welcome to our webinar of the month. If you can see, we had designer discussions group on hand here because we're going to be talking about the marketing studio. So this is one of our, this is our new resource that we are offering to the design and remodeling community. And that's what we're going to talk about today. How are you today, Miriam and Maria? Pretty good. So we have been working on this new resource that a lot of designers have been asking for that have been listening to our podcast and have been asking and have been following what we teach and what we say, but the, but we haven't had any done for you options or any resources that they can immediately get access to. We've had people followed our podcast and done some of the actions that we said and had success. And those same designers and others have been asking for other resources that they could get access to and really use our expertise in the areas of marketing, PR, business development, client relations, and so forth. This is the marketing studio right here that is live that you can see. This is the homepage. I'm going to have Maria give a brief overview of why we created this and go from there. And then we'll explain each of the products that we have in currently right now. So, Maria? Awesome. Thanks, Jason. So, our number one set of questions that we get from people is how can I get higher end clients? Like, how can I move up a level in the clientele that I serve? And then, number two is how can I sell more? How can I, you know, how, how do I take my standard services that I provide, but then also open my clients up to more? And then um, most designers don't have a lot of time on their hands, so they need those resources available to them in a way that can save them time. And then fourth, I would say that the most, one of the most important things that we're doing is that we are also in alignment with all of those things, improving your opportunity for branding. And branding is really essential when it comes to how you present your business um, so that when your clients are looking at you and what you are providing, that they feel like they are getting the best level of service, that they're getting a professional who really has their act together and that they feel ultimately very comfortable with you. Awesome. We're going to have a sneak peek into the store or into the back end, into the marketing studio. And right now we have 10 products that we have available now. We will be adding more in. Actually, we're going to talk about the next product we're going to have in here, which will be the training on chat GPT. Now we're going to briefly go over each one to start. We're going to talk about the client avatar guide. So the importance of a client avatar workbook is that if you were to hire Jason to do all of your marketing, if you were to reach out to a branding specialist, if, if you were to start that process of really growing and marketing your business, the first thing that they would do is ask you a series of questions, evaluate it based on what you answer those questions, and they would start to build out your messaging. So the importance of the avatar workbook is to get this into the hands of more kitchen and bath studios, more interior designers, so that they can start to see the structure of who their ideal client is and who they need to be talking to and who they need to be marketing their business. And then once you learn who your ideal client is and who you need to be marketing to, you can then get garner more interest in your presence online. So um, it is a free download on our website because we do find this to be super important for anyone who's wanting to address their marketing for their business. And this has a combination of things that I've received from other companies, Jason's model, and we put together a very complex um, thought process for you to work through to help you fine tune your messaging. Next, we have the social media content calendar. Sure. So this is something that Maria and I um, put together, taking into account both of what the interior design business um, wants to portray in social media and the seasonality of the topics. 
So there's uh, there's um, actual prompts in there. So we want to make it the whole goal of the marketing studio products is to to make your life easier and to save you time. So if you need to make up or you can plan out your whole year, you know, that might be a little bit ambitious, but maybe you go month to month, but you can open up this guide and it'll give you prompts on what to talk about on your social media. And quite honestly, you can repeat this year after year because the topics, you know, they change, but they stay the same um, at the same time. So we wanted to make it really practical and, and really easy and turnkey so you don't have to spend, you know, an hour every day to come up with a social media post. And then the next one is the interior design media kit. So that's um, something that people talk about a lot. And I just want to put it in perspective what this is and what it's not. So the, the intention of this media kit is really just to be like a very good looking document that gives an overview of who you are, what you stand for and, and what you offer. So it's not a media kit for a design influencer necessarily. It's more like a sort of like a greeting card, like a mini lookbook that you can send to editors when you reach out to them. Quite honestly, you can use this for pretty much anybody else that you introduce yourself to. So it's two pages um, and it's very customizable. Um, it lives in, in Canva, so you can just swap in um, your, your own um, images. You can change the color scheme. Um, it's, it's basic, but it gives you um, an idea of what elements you need to include when you introduce yourself to media and other um, key people in your business. And the next product is the Client Communication Branding Bundle. All right. So the bundle is actually made up of the four parts. So it's actually um, all of the four elements that you're going to see broken out further on um, down through our catalog of items for sale. So this is going to this this bundle is going to include the media kit and then it's going to include the proposal, the presentation format, and your client welcome packet. So I think we might want to look at those three items individually okay. too. So let's head to the proposal. So the proposal is fantastic. I can't even begin to tell you how different this proposal is going to be for you and for really the industry, we spent some time and energy putting it together in a way that would allow you to present your services to your client in a way that's like a menu. It's going to allow you to serve your client in the way that they've asked plus. And that way, when you are working with your client and you're presenting what it is that you would be able to provide for them, they get the opportunity to choose. Do we want to scale it back a little bit? What are we going to miss out on? If we add these extra bonus things that are already included in the proposal, wow, that would really make our experience better. And this also is training your client to understand what it is that you do and what you don't do. And by giving you this beautifully presented balance between what are you wanting to provide your client and what are you wanting to train your client about all together in one really awesome proposal package. So this is going to cover what your deliverables will be, how much you're going to propose for your design services, and if you've got multiple layers. It'll also provide what are some of the bonus things that you can do? Do you help out with seasonal stuff that your client is going to need? And then that way they know to plan for that or add that in. Um, and this is, you know, a great opportunity to start pitching yourself doing that extra thing that maybe you've been wanting to do with your clients, but on average, you know, you're, you're not able to come up with the right time to talk to them about it. And that might be that, you know, you want to go to the D&D in New York City um, and, you know, go shopping with your client in, in different areas and maybe, you know, travel to do the work. This gives you these opportunities to start pitching yourself in a new way. And it's not daunting. It's not scary. It's just this gorgeous, easy layout for you. Makes your life easier. And your clients are really going to love it. All right. And then the next one is 
the client welcome packet? So a welcome packet is just a, this is going to be branded to look like and go well and easily with the proposal. It's done in Canva. And if you want to, you can modify it to match your branding, add your logo in and completely customize it with your own images and what you do. This welcome packet is a simple communication tool that you can send off to people after they've reached out to you and are asking about your design services without it being a proposal, but it's something that you can send them that just says, you know, welcome to our firm. These are the services that we provide. This is how we provide the services. It's a simple thing that is a, a really nice little format, a bonus boost that you can send out to your clients when they've called and, sent, uh, and done an inquiry or they filled out your form and they're interested in working with you. And you can start putting all of your data in there about how you work how you want to work with them, and uh, what their expectations should be. Because we believe that with all successful businesses, you need to reiterate your service processes over and over again. And it needs to be like beautifully peppered into your process. So what we are doing is we include testimonials because testimonials are vitally important. Finished project images need to be in there, plus simple things like a communication guideline. So that way your clients are never confused that if they should send you a um, multi-paragraph text and then hope that you get back to them over your holiday vacation. It just goes over all of those things in this light, beautiful way so that as you are consistently presenting yourself to your clientele base, they can truly begin to know, like, and trust you every step of the way. The next one is the presentation slash mood board. So once again, we have a similar format, similar page layouts. We have versions where you're presenting who the who your staff is going to be working with. So say, for example, you might be the lead designer or someone else on your staff might be the lead designer for their project. This gives you an opportunity to, we have an ability for you to present your team, all the people that they will be communicating with. We have uh, what the project goals are, places for you to write about the concept, the feel, the look, those emotional factors that you need to have in your presentation. And we just have like a really beautiful layout for you that matches our proposal, matches our media kit, and also matches the um, welcome packet that we have put together for you. And so what you can do is take these presentation formats. These can be, these are also in Canva. They are something that you could present on a screen in your office and your conference room, or you could use it over Zoom to present your concept to your clients. And we put this together once again in a really nice way where it starts off with just enough information. It follows your processes. It also has testimonials so that whenever you complete your presentation and you're asking for the payment on um, moving forward on the project, you've already got all of those essential elements worked in to your process. And it's just a great template that you can just slide your images into and get going. Now we get into web design. So basically we have three templates for you to start with. We have a minimalist looking design. So I used home decor words to describe how the uh, website is going to look. So we have minimalist, we have dark academia, which is going to give you a little bit more of that masculine feel, darker colors. Um, and then we have the third one is Japandi. And Japandi is this concept of sort of soft neutral and wabi-sabi, but keeping it a little bit organic. So instead of it being um, like an organic modern look and feel, we call it Japandi because it's simple, it's clean, and it has um, a little bit of color tones that feel a little bit more natural. So each of the websites are on the Weebly platform. One of the questions I know I'll be asked is, why Weebly over WordPress or any of the others. One reason we had chose Weebly is because it's an easy drag and drop platform, easy to use, easy to maintain. WordPress is one of the more popular website platforms, but it's also not as easy to maintain. So you have a lot of updates that you have to do to the plugins where if you do not update them, it's easier for your website to get hacked. It's easier for a thing to happen to the website. 
Weebly does a lot of the updates automatically. WordPress has plugins. Weebly has apps. And so with the apps, they update those on the Weebly side. Maintenance wise for a lot of the designers and remodelers that we have talked to and dealt with, they want to have a site that's easier to maintain where they don't have to hire either an agency to maintain it. They can maintain it in-house. So it's easier to maintain, easier to make changes, easier to make updates. So that's why we had chose the Weebly platform. For SEO purposes, we actually have a lot of clients' websites that are on Weebly that we have ranked. So there isn't an issue with ranking in terms of SEO. In terms of maintenance, search engine optimization, that's why we went with the Weebly platform. With all of the websites, when you purchase, you will be on our platform for a year. So you'll have hosting for a year for free. After the year, you will pay either annual or monthly hosting costs and or at that time, we could talk about transferring or migrating the site to your platform at that time after the year is up. But like I said, when you buy the template, you'll actually have hosting for a year for free. We have a recommendation under each of the tutorials that you also do Weebly tutorial. When I did the tutorial for each of the three templates, I only went over the template itself, not we, but there's a suggested tutorial in there. You could watch that one or there's others that you can find on YouTube and or Vimeo on how to use Weebly. The basics of it, how do you change images, how do you change text, how do you edit? So I don't go into detail into that aspect because there are a number of Weebly tutorials all across the web. Like I said, on YouTube, Vimeo, you can find those anywhere. We have the tutorial there over each of the templates. So we're going to start with the Japan. And as Maria talked about, this was the, what did you say? The infusion of the, <laughs> I'll let you touch it. So it is, um, it's, it's modern, but it's still natural. It's got, um, the Japandi concept comes from the Wabi Sabi, which is that something is handmade, has a little bit more natural, uh, impact to it. And it's not super stark. So this is our Japandi. As you can see, it's really simple, easy on the eye, easy. And one of the things that you want to make sure in any website design that you may do either on your own or you may hire an agency to do is to ensure of the user experience. You want to ensure that it's not too complex, that the end user, once they are on the site, that they find so much information that it's hard to find out what they need to do. You want to make it super easy for them to know why they're on the site, what they came to do and take action. That's how you ensure that you have a website that is good for conversion, because we always talk about CRO, conversion rate optimization, and the easier you make it for the end user, the more likely they are to convert and do what you want them to do. That was the purpose of this website here, as you can see here with the easy, clean lines, a lot of white space, easy to understand. So that is the Japan website. The next one is, this is minimalist. You have an animation in the background. You can turn this on and off. And with each of the website templates, there's a tutorial to show you how to do each aspect of the site. And I show you in the template, in the tutorial, how to turn off the animation, how to change a lot of the elements here. And this template here is where you can change any of the colors to your color scheme. You can switch out the logos. You can switch out the images, the text. You could turn off certain sections that you have here, like for the services, the number counter. I show you how to turn off each of these in the tutorial. You have this area here for the portfolio where you can switch out images here. And I show you how to edit this and switch all that out for the team. If you're just a one man, one woman shop, if you do not want to have, I show you how to turn this section off and or switch out the images for your team. You should have testimonials. So this is a testimonial slider that you can have. And if you want to turn this off or have this on, I show in the tutorial how to do that. And then this is the end. And then each of the pages, we have uh, the press page, uh, the about us. 
that we have. So each of these areas, I go over in the tutorial how to edit and make changes and optimize each of the pages of the site. Okay, so this is the minimalist template. Then we have the academia. This one here, like we had talked about with all of the others, you can switch out all of the color schemes, your logo to make it your own. So it could be branded for your company. I show in here how to switch out all of the videos we talk about having your own YouTube page, or it could be your own Vimeo page, whichever one. But as you create and add video, you can then link it to this area here, or I'll also show you if you do not have video or you do not want video, how to switch this out for images. So that's also in the tutorial here, the diagonal in the theme. I show you how to turn that off. If you do not like the diagonal look, you can turn that off, show you there, switch out each of the images here. And one of the things that I talk about here, which is also in the tutorial about having each of the images the same size, because if not, you'll have it off a little bit. And we did this intentionally to show you that if the images are not the same size, this will uh, throw off the orientation. So having them all the same size helps. And we talk about that in the tutorial as well. We talk about the process and how we have six elements of the process here. Now you may or may not have six elements, but you can condense it for less and or more. And we talk about that in the tutorial. And then we have the number counter here. We talk about how to change this, and optimize this, or if you do not want this, how you can turn it off. In here with the team, switching it out. If you do not have a team, you could turn off this whole section of the site or you could switch out images for your own team. Feature products, this is a slideshow. We talk about how to edit that areas here uh, with a video, okay? And then we talk about how to edit all of this. And then you have your testimonial slider here as well. And then you have a little animation here, which you, we show you how to turn on and off that animation. OK. And then if we head back to the top, you can head to any of the service pages. We show you how to edit all of this aspect and switch out all of the images for your individual services. OK. And then, like I said, you can make all of the branding your own. And we talk about all that in the tutorial. OK. So those are the three templates. Like I said, next month, we are going to add in training on chat GPT, <laughs> and we're going to have a workbook on that. And one of the things we have talked about is having templates for WordPress. So that is something we are going to add in. We just wanted to start with an easy drag and drop website builder before we get more into the complex WordPress. This is where we are now. Maria, Miriam, did you have anything else that y'all wanted to add? No, just that we're very excited that this is ready to go, right? Because it's been a labor of love and we've been wanting to do it for a while, but we wanted to do it right. And yeah, there's definitely a lot more exciting things to come um, in the future. Um, we do have videos that will be available on how to use Canva a little bit better if you do feel uncomfortable with using Canva. Um, and Jason's put together a special way for everybody to have access to some private videos on how to use all of the products that we show here. Yes, yes. And once you purchase any of the products, what will happen is that you'll have access to on the main website. If we head to designer the sessions website, what will happen, you'll see here where you have the login. What will happen is now you'll have login access to all of the back end of each of the products. So Whatever product that you purchased, there's a page on this website that has more resources for each of the products with training videos, guides, and all that as well. So when you purchase a product, you'll be emailed a link to set up your own username and password to log into this site here where you'll have access to additional resources for each of the products. And like I said, we'll be adding in more products over time. So be sure to check back because like I said, next month, we're going to have a training on chat GPT. In the future, we're going to have, we're going to have templates on WordPress. We're going to have templates on Wix and we're going to have other PR assets. We're going to have other marketing assets. We're going to have other 
business development and client relations aspects as well, assets as well. So be sure to check back because we're going to add on to this. Also get onto our mailing list. We already have a email newsletter that we send out monthly. So if you're on that mailing list, you'll be sure to see any of the new products that have been added into the marketing studio. Like I said, this is now open. Feel free to head here now. You can head here either through designerdiscussions.com and then you we have the tab here, Marketing Studio. So you can click on that and then you can click on this link here and it'll take you directly to the URL, which is designerdiscussionsmarketing.studio. Okay, so if you have any questions at all, feel free to ask and we hope to see you all here next month on our webinar of the month. Thank you.